I'm gonna start a revolution. I create the best illusion, yeah. <laughs> what up, y'all? It's your girl, KZ, a.k.a. The Shaman Kamama. This morning, over here at the Lighthouse Astro Tarot. And today, we're going to be doing our Astro Energy Updates for the month of October, boo. So, if you decide to dig what I do, go ahead and like, share, subscribe, follow me, all that good stuff. Let's go ahead and get started, boo. Now. Happy birthday, Libras, by the way. But let's go ahead and get into the overall energy for this month for all signs, y'all. So, you see the title, Be Still, Be Light as a Feather, and Stiff as a Board. So, let's talk about it. Now, first thing I want to touch on is Mercury Retrograde. We have Mercury Retrograde in Libra. But you know what? Before we even do all that, let's talk about the overall energy of October. October, of course, is Libra season. And with this being a Libra season, the sign of Libra is all about relationships. Uh, relationships. Relationships. Uh, and friends in those relationships. Now, I said relationships. <laughs> with this being Mercury Retrograde, right? You're going to have some simp-ass relationships trying to return back into your life. You're going to have some simp-ass people. <laughs> so don't be surprised that is just a natural thing with any mercury retrograde in any sign for it to be uh past lovers past friendships coming back into your life old folks period to try to reconcile and you know um try to clutch tie up some loose ends or if not just just want to come through and throw some salt off in your shit so <laughs> besides that with mercury retrograde right Mercury retrograde has a tendency to have cause us issues with communication. This can be verbal, nonverbal, over the phone, things to do with, you know, written communication, all that good stuff. So try to do cross your T's and dot your I's whenever it comes to, you know, communicating with anyone. Also, mm, another standard thing that comes along with Mercury retrograde is issues with vehicles. So any main vehicle maintenance, anything to do with short or long distance travel. This can be by mail, this can be by your car, this can be by foot. Make sure you got your shit together because there can have some issues to come up, some unforeseen issues come up during Mercury Retrograde. Now, what makes this particular Mercury Retrograde so potent is the fact that it is going on in the sign of Libra and we are in Libra season. And y'all feel it getting cool outside. Thank the good Lord. <laughs> you feel it getting cool outside, all that good stuff, right? So, you know, we going in the cuffing season. Fall is the start of cuffing season. So that is kind of like a little red flag to you to be aware of old loves trying to return or people trying to you know reconcile past relationships if you knew they wouldn't worth a fuck worth a fuck while you was dealing with them leave them where they at tell them i'm gonna need you to go back from where you came from when you left the first time boo. <laughs> that's the motto overall for this mercury retrograde in libra and uh for the overall general libra season now more into the energy of overall libra season is the be still be light as a feather and be stiff as a fool stiff as a board now with the be still have you noticed that some of the things that you have been trying to do here lately that you may have been getting a little resistance. I don't care what it is. It can be trying to get something off the ground. It could be getting some business paperwork done, whatever it may be. You're probably, probably noticing that in some area of your life, you are having, you feel like there's something that you need to do there, but the more that you try to do it, uh, the more static you get. That's God letting you know, slow your roll. You have done your work. You've done what I need you to do. Now sit your ass down and be steep. <laughs> Cause I got the rest. I got the rest. You have nothing to worry about. Right? Right. Okay. So keep that in mind. Anytime you feel any kind of traction, you know, you trying to go somewhere, you just can't get out the house. Or say, you know, you have a all of a sudden change of plans, things like that. Pay that a lot of attention because that is God hindering you from something that ain't for you. Or he may be keeping you out of hurt, harm, and danger. You never know. You never know. Or he may be sitting you down for you to wait for whatever he has for you to come to you. That's the thing about 2022, y'all. I'm going to say it all the time. 2022 is about work smarter, not harder. So, and we have to realize that we pray to God and we ask him for things. We can't pray to God and ask him for things and don't let him work to get it done. Okay? It's a 50-50. Everything works on a percentage level. Whatever you do down here, you feel me? That happens first on the spirit realm first, but then you have a little something you got to do down here. And it, it's like a continuous cycle. It goes around and around like this. So you have to wait on it. But I promise you, it's going to be all the more worth the damn wait. 
All right, so that's on the be still bar part. Now, be light as a feather now, which you having these people popping back up in your life or just dealing with people in general, general period and with the communication thing going on, right? You are going to notice that um, people might be throwing a lot of criticism your way, especially in the first half of October because we kind of still in the cusp of Virgo season and we still have some plans in retrograde. We still have a lot of planets in retrograde right now. And that retrograde energy is with that reset point you keep hearing me talk about. All of these, and we also have Saturn in retro retrograde as well. So Saturn in retrograde is pretty much here for you to review your past, right? in order for you to move forward that's on top of these other planets being in retrograde it's like a review of every damn thing in your life right now so this month you're gonna be a little bit i say more lower on the physical energy you'll be able to socialize you'll be ready to socialize more because libra is a very social sign is an air sign and you'll be also tapping into you know things in regards to more with your intimate you may be expanding your awareness in some areas but besides all of that, you know, whatever criticism that you get thrown your way, whatever dysfunction is thrown your way, don't take it so to heart. Be a little bit more, be as light about it as you possibly can. Whatever is moving out your life wasn't meant to be there to begin with, and it, or it no longer has a place there now. And these things are leaving for God to replace them with the newness, with the bestest of the things that you have been asking him for over the past year or so reflect on what was going on last year around this time now reflect on what was going on around aries season this time aries is the opposite of libra so all the seeds that you sown last year this time of the year all the seeds that you sown the first of the spring you're going to be seeing those things come up you're going to be seeing reaping the benefits of um those seeds that you planted now be stiff as a boar be stiff as a boar on what you believe in and what you want these same people who may be returning to your life are going to pose up some things to get you to switch up on what you decided that you wanted to do on what you decided that was going to be the path that you taken for yourself so you need to be stiff as a board on what you believe in and what you're going for because these little non-factors are going to come into your life for you to make permanent decisions for temporary-ass people. And that's something that we cannot do. Until I see you next time, boo. Bye.